Welcome back to my new tutorial series and today you will learn how to create a chat instant messaging application. In the previous tutorials we learned how to create the server and the client and the connections between them. But now we need to get this into practice and we will create a chat application manager. So we will start. Um, in our project, we will do the same as the uh, previous structure that we did in the last tutorials, and we will create a server and each, uh, each connection from the client will be in different computers. So we need to make an interface, so a GUI, that every user it will have and with it it will see the messages and will be able to send other messages. Okay, uh, how will be the structure of our pro uh, project? Uh, in our client, uh, we will create the same as the client that we created before and uh, we will do in the server uh, some other functions that uh, will be able to send messages to everyone and to accept other type of messages. So uh, I will make a practice of how the server and the client will work. Imagine that we have three users, okay? The first user uh, sent a socket to the server and the server accept, accept the socket. Um, we will have in the server a public array list that will have all the messages that are stored in the database, okay? That in the case, it will be our computer. We will not use MySQL. Uh, so when we accept the user, we will send to everyone the user that we accepted has connected. So everyone in the chat we'll see user one has connected, okay? Then every user that is connected, okay, will be able to send messages and will do the same. He will send a request to send his message and he will send the message to everyone, the user one, user three, and user two, okay? And last, we will create a function that, that when a user disconnect, uh, all users will be able to see that message. Okay, so this is the, the overview structure that we will be using for our project. Firstly, we need to create a window, okay, that will be the GUI, the interface that will be using all the clients, okay? Uh, the window will extend G frame It will have a constructor, a default constructor, and we will set size of new dimension, 800 and 600, for example. You can use whatever you want. We we'll need to use the title client. Also, always on top if you want, and the default close operation, G frame dot exit on close. Okay. Uh, we will also need in the main client, use a UE manager to improve our look and feel. So in set look and feel, UE manager dot get system look and feel class name. We need to do a high, uh, a big try catch, okay? And, okay, now uh, we need to create a window that I said before. The client, we need to pass the client, same parameter to child. And I think that this will be working, so we need to create a window. 
window equals to new window of client. Perfect. So now we pass the client, and here we need to do window dot set visible to. Okay. So now it will appear. Wait, we need to create to start the server. Perfect. And now the client. And here we have the window. Okay. When we close the socket, all the listeners that we are having in the tweet that are this will give our error. So the, uh, now we need to put here something when the client closed. Okay. Client closed. So now we need to do this. Okay, perfect. Uh, this we need to do to stop the error. We need to do this also here in the client of the server. Okay, that we did. But now we need to stop the server. Okay the client uh, the client socket connection so now when we stop the when we create the client okay you see we have the same and here we have client closed okay and it, it doesn't have any error because we stop the thread and the client doesn't listen any messages okay so now in the client class we will keep this thing that we do to to test the application and we will continue with the window okay we can do the window uh, whatever you want i will create a private g label a message new g label okay and it will say enter a message also we need to create a text field to enter the message enter message okay Perfect. Let's look at this. Okay. So now we need to create also a private G panel content equal to new G panel new border layout. Okay. Now we also need another G panel that will contain all the messages so all the the input and the output data that we can send so we need to create another panel that will be in the top and we need to make it flow also we need to create a G button to send G button perfect and also another G panel wait this you need to put the name of the button send and here you need also the center panel that will contain the text field okay so we need to create the text area sorry G text area area new G text area okay and we will put for example then we will change it but for now we will put this and now we need to add the things set content pane content okay now content dot add top border layout from north also content dot add 
center border layout to center okay now center dot add area and top dot add all the mm, output things that are the label the field and the button that is sent perfect so now we will prove it and here we have okay now we will change some size of the components firstly the text field that will be for example 20 and here we will put 60 50 and 30 let's see it okay it is improved but i think that we need to put same okay perfect okay so with this uh, we will work for now okay so when we uh, put the client it will send the socket it will ask us for the user and the server will return the user okay so uh, we have created the window now we need to put the action listener of the send button dot action listener no action listener and here we will say the client dot send message okay and now we'll say dot get text perfect so now in the client we need to do this public void um, send message string message so new we need to do the same as here write a message okay but instead of user it will be a string message that we created in the common project okay perfect so we don't have errors we need to create in the client the same that we did of the the option pane dot get dot show input dialog write your user string user and store user server. 